internet, it's Mike uh, with Mike Jones Knife and Tool and I am finally back with another video. Um, real sorry that it's been so long since uh, the last time I made a video, but uh, here come some excuses. So for one thing, I, I work a whole lot. I work basically 60 hours a week, so I only have um, weekends to work on knives and my weekends tend to fill up with um, maintenance. Our yard's full of a lot of gardens and fruit trees and just stuff that takes a lot of time to to keep up with on the weekends in the summertime like this. Another thing is uh, we just had a baby, so that's cool, but uh, it's definitely taking up a lot of time too. And and so yeah, with, with a baby, you get all kinds of family and friends all visiting and stuff, so not conducive to running off to the shed to make a knife and a video about it. So not only have I not been making a lot of videos, but haven't been spending much time making knives or ax handles or anything like that lately either. Got a really nice note, uh, a comment on a video recently from uh, Jared Stringer um, and uh, that made me feel really good man so thanks a lot for that and uh, it was motivation to come out and uh, make another video for you even if it is just one of those where I talk at you a whole bunch and you don't actually get to see much happening but um, stay tuned because I will be making more videos just for you man so thanks. One thing that is new is uh, I got a new website. It's no longer MikeJonesKnifeAndTool.tk. Now it's an actual .com, MikeJonesKnifeAndTool.com. Maybe I'll even figure out how to put it down at the bottom of the screen here. <laughs> we'll see. But um, go there, check it out. Um, I'm going to have a lot of current knives and old heritage restored tools and axes and stuff like that for sale straight up on the site. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, hang out there often because I'll just keep constantly updating it with whatever I find and whatever I have time to restore and, and put up there for sale and knives as well. I did actually make a video recently about a knife that a customer wanted a bow drill pivot in. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, I got a new phone halfway through filming that one and my computer chose that day to be the day that it just referenced footage on my phone instead of actually uploading it like every other day so that was a bust oh hey whoa there we go fire if you're uh, follow me on instagram you'll recognize this little number this is a knife that i just finally finished again i actually finished this knife like, over a year ago and when i first set the, the tang, the blade in the handle, it was super crooked, it was like way off. And so once it was finished, I made that rookie error of trying to stick it in the vise and tweak it back a little bit and it snapped on me right away. So um, I was super choked about that. And the story was I kept the handle around forever because I really loved it, it fit perfect. It was this awesome piece of walnut burl with a zebra guard on the front. So I kept it on my desk as kind of a reminder to not do that again. But um, I finally figured out, or I found out, that if you heat up the handle one of, of many ways, then you can usually loosen the epoxy in there. So I boiled it, and after a while, the guard actually came loose and popped off, and that exposed just enough metal that I could clamp it into a vise and heat it with the heat gun really hot, and I pried it really carefully and pulled it, and eventually the tank came out, and I was super pumped. So I put a new blade in it, finished it up again, made a quick little sheath for it that I stole from the smart Alec. He's on Instagram as well. Great design, super simple. And uh, finally finished that knife again, so I'm pumped on that. So this is my shelf of axes and stuff that are still to be done. This is all axe heads right here. And I actually just picked up another one at a garage sale today. So keep an, keep an eye on the website because most of these are gonna get finished and get handles put on them and leather masks and they'll all be for sale. So here's a quick preview of some of the axes that you can um, look forward to me seeing me finish. I always come across funny stuff like this that um, just, you know, people just don't know. But I pick them up and pull the handle off, rehandle them, and they're always good stuff. So steel's still good. You clean up the rust, sharpen them, and they're awesome. That's a beauty little hatchet that I can fix up. Um, this one, made in Swedish, made in, made in Sweden. It's got this weird weld in it so you know that one's gonna go really cheap if someone just wants a good quality axe at a good price and they don't care about a little weld on it um, this buddy Swedish made double bit saddle axe two and a half pound head and um, the handle had a, 
a crack in it, but it's the original handle. And so I glued it up with the same glue that we glue big timbers together with um, at work. And so it's good stuff and it holds. And so if somebody's looking for a nice full original piece, the guy who owned this before made this beauty leather mask for it too. So that'll come with it as well. Um, that one's going to go up on the website soon. And then I've got like all kinds of different stuff that I've been collecting. Um, great big ox head double bit. I've got, you know, hammer pole stuff. I've got this uh, True Temper Pulaski that was um, used by the BC government. So that's awesome. Put a handle on that. Uh, this big three and a half pound German bastard. I've got like HB Holtz Brooks hatchet heads. I've got True Temper hatchet heads. I've got all kinds of stuff here that, um, you know, if you're looking for something in particular, I can fast track one of those and try to get it done for you or um, just keep an eye on the website you know this stuff as i finish them i'll just keep putting them up on the website there for you guys to check out on the website there's also a whole section of um, like restored heritage tools um, that kind of stuff is going to be like um, an english made stanley spoke shave that i have to quickly tune up um, i've got a couple of big planes this is an american made 14 inch plane that needs uh again just needs some love and that'll go up on the website and then stuff like this uh english made sheffield england marples rabbit plane it's an awesome condition everything's there it's complete and um that one's up there already you can go check that out that sort of stuff i come across all the time and um put some work into them and then put them up there so yeah stay tuned for that kind of stuff so thanks again for sticking around um, and I'm going to try to keep more content coming for you guys. Uh, keep the comments coming on the videos. That's always fun. I like to try to answer all the questions that I can and uh, you guys are usually a lot smarter than I am and so you throw in a couple extra good words of wisdom on stuff that I didn't know about. So thanks a lot for that kind of stuff too and uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks.